to spread and the little egg read, uh, by julia rawlingson and jane macy read by miss wade swans were nesting on the lake near the den fred hid in the reeds and watched them they built soft nests of sticks and moss and laid large white eggs in them. Fred wanted to hatch an egg too, so he trotted home to the den. How do I make an egg? asked Fred. Birds have cubs, not eggs, said Mummy. Then what can I put in my nest? asked Fred. Bears have dens, not nests said Mummy. Fred still wanted to hatch an egg. He wondered if he could borrow one. He trotted back down the hill to the lake and smush splashed over to ask a swan. The swan hissed fiercely as he came close. Fred jumped, bump, splosh, splashed backwards. <gasps> he picked himself up shook the water from his fur and squelched back to shore. I wasn't going to hurt it, he grumbled, stomping up the hill. I'd have cared for it just as well as a swan. He plodded into the wood. Amongst the leaves, a shiny acorn suddenly caught his eye. <gasps> a teeny weeny brown egg! thought Fred, but who is here to hatch it? There was no one hiding behind the trees. Fred began to hope. Nobody answered when he called. He gave an excited squeak. He smelt only flowers in the breeze and hugged himself with happiness. The little brown egg was all alone and needed him to care for it. I'll build you a beautiful nest, said Fred, as he carried the acorn to the lake. He built a nest of sticks and moss and settled the acorn into it. He very carefully climbed on top and crack, crack, splash, went the nest. Fred landed with a squelch in the cold, wet mud with the acorn squashed underneath him. <gasps> Are you all right, little egg? asked Fred, scrambling in the mud. He gently scooped up the acorn and cradled it in his paws. I'll build you a warmer nest, said Fred, trotting to a sunny hollow. He built a nest of grass and flowers and settled the acorn into it. He very carefully climbed on top and Chitter, chitter, chatter, went a squirrel. I won't let anybody eat my egg, said Fred with his fiercest stare. Bears don't have eggs, said the squirrel, poking at Fred's nest. This bear does, said Fred firmly, giving his rumbliest growl. The squirrel jumped, waved his tail and scurried crossly away. With a bounce, bounce, bump, a baby rabbit tumbled into the hollow. Do you want to come and chase butterflies? She asked, brushing earth from her ears. Sorry, I'm busy, said Fred, importantly. I have to hatch my egg. Bears don't have eggs, said the rabbit, peering at Fred's nest. This bear does, said Fred proudly. And so I have to hatch it. With a skitter, skitter, skip, a little deer skidded to join them. Do you want to come and jump some beams? She asked, shaking flowers from her fur. I do, but he's busy, said the rabbit. He has to hatch his egg. Bears don't have eggs, said the deer nibbling at Fred's nest. This bear does, 
said the rabbit knowingly. And so he has to hatch it. The deer and the rabbit skitter bounced away, but Fred sat still amongst the flowers. He sat and he sat as the sun rose high and the hollow grew hotter and hotter. He sat and he sat as lunchtime passed and his tummy began to rumble. He sat and he sat through the sleepy afternoon with insects buzzing around him. He sat and he sat until the sun began to set and his tummy was rumblier than thunder. Then he picked up the acorn and carried it gently all the way back to the den. My little brown egg won't hatch, said Fred, feeling very tired and grumpy. That won't hatch into a bird, it will grow into a tree. Like that tall old oak, said Mummy. If a tree hatched under me, I'd bounce up into the clouds, said Fred. He put down the acorn quickly. You don't have to sit on it, you just have to plant it in the earth, like this, said Mummy. So I'll just sit here and wait, asked Fred. It will take a long time, said Mummy. I've got nothing else to do till tea. A very long time, said Mummy. Longer than tea time? What about bedtime? Much, much longer, said Mummy. Fred didn't think he could sit still for that long, so he looked at the earth thoughtfully. Will my egg be all right if I leave it? It will be safe down there said Mummy. What if it gets lonely without me? Worms will tell its stories, said Mummy. I'll miss you, little brown egg, said Fred. I'll visit you every day. You'll soon have a little green tree, said Mummy. The brown egg was silent. So Fred padded off to the tall old oak, which rustled its leaves in welcome. He climbed into the branches and looked down at the lake where the swans were sitting quietly. I'm glad I don't have to sit on my egg, said Fred, swaying happily. Far below him, safe in the earth, the acorn began to grow. Oh, can you see it? There it is, starting to grow. End.